God expects that we show love to our brethren. So all this backbiting, all this forming of clique, these are just strategies from the pit of hell. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nazo and this is Purple City. If you're new here, kindly subscribe, like, share and hit notification button so you get to know when we post new videos all right so i promised myself today's video will be short and i'm going to leave up to that so i want to talk about a very important topic what we could um, describe as the basic of the christian faith you know how they say cell is the basic need of life yeah this is the basic need of christianity and that is the matter of the subject of love yes so i'm gonna read um two scriptures so we can you know jump right into into the talk so um i'm reading first john chapter 3 from verse 13 okay it says do not marvel my brethren if the world hates you we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren he who does not love his brother abides in death whosoever hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him by this we know love because he laid down his life for us and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren but whosoever has the world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him how does the love of god abide in him verse 18 my little children let us not love in word or in tongue but in deed and in truth and by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him hallelujah this is so so profound guys this is so profound now i want to first of all um emphasize on something he said in verse 13 um verse 13 14 he said um this is how we actually know that we have passed from death to life because we love so our identification as believers our identification as christians is first of all that we love it's not because we preach it's not we don't they don't know that we've passed from death to life because we preach or because we speak in tongues now just to add to that let me just read the scripture as well first corinthians chapter one and i'm going to read verse one and verse 13. verse one says though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels hallelujah <laughs> but have not love i have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal like guys <laughs> and then the last verse verse 13 it says and uh, now abides faith hope and love these three but the greatest of these three is love so like i said earlier love is like the basics it's like the building block of our christian faith it's like what holds us all together so this is how they know that we are fast from death to life is because we show this love that is unmerited really just like we've been loved by god we've been given an unmerited love that's how we are expected to also love our brethren. It was so clear. He said we don't even love in words alone. So it's not just, oh, bless you, brother. I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister. No, indeed, indeed. You know, it just reminds me so much of the early um, Christians. The Bible said that they shared things in common. You know, in today's modern church, you know, you just come in, church close, you can't hear back, you go. <laughs> you know, that's one of the things I really, really love about um, student fellowships. You know, back in the day, fellowship would close by three o'clock. People would still, uh, no, by six o'clock, right? Now. People would still stay there till like eight. What are we doing? We do, according to Fafi, what Fafi, fellowship after fellowship. Because you get to meet people, you bond, you discuss, and that's really when you get to know okay, people that in need of stuff and people that need help. And then these things are sorted out. God expects that His church should function as a family so i shouldn't be in a church or you shouldn't be in a church and all you do is just you rush in and you rush out you should be able to bond with people that's how you can actually express love to them of course there are many other places you can show love not just in church but today i'm just talking about um love between brethren so the, this is just a wake-up call yeah to us believers to really begin to show the love of god to our brethren god expects that we show love to our brethren so all this backbiting all this forming of clique these are just strategies from the pit of hell it is not in any way the plan of god for his church god does not expect that his church will have cliques 
the big people, the big guys, the people that you, <laughs> people actually with the big boys, I don't actually with the small boy. No, that is not God's plan at all. That is not God's plan at all. God's plan is that everyone that will come together in unity, that will would 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 love each other and will share things in common. Hallelujah. I promise not to make this video long, so I'm going to be stopping right here. But this is a wake-up call to you, my brother. This is a wake-up call to you, my sister. It's time to go out of your comfort zone. We live in Lagos. I live in Lagos, right? And we know how Lagos can be. You come back from work, but still find time. Just chat up somebody. Hi, how are you doing? How's your day? Hope you're good. You know, give a call out there. You came to church. You didn't see brother A or sister A. Just call. How are you doing, sister? Hope you're good. And trust me, when we really begin to do this, God will be pleased with us. And we'll be happy to we'll be creating bonds. We'll be creating a family that we will also benefit from. All right. So, till my next video. See you. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not. Hey, Jifuna, don't forget to subscribe. Like. Share. And most importantly, hit the notification button so you get to know when I post new videos. <laughs> All right, guys. Ciao. Bye.